Hi, welcome to this uh, tutorial and we're responding to a question on Google Plus. Uh, sometimes you have this window when you have an uh, application open um, like 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 not too heavy and a good example like this one control H and we are going to move it for instance to here how do I do this let's keep making tips and that's this one when you have a keyboard that has a separate numeric path uh, pad is better probably we can use super one super four seven as you can see I walk through my uh, numeric keypad and voila that's nice we also have super arrow up super arrow down arrow down left right and right again so that's uh, something you can you should remember it's so easy to tile your Windows. It's not XFCX. If you go to the to the side and the corner stuff like that, it's there. It's just a shortcut. Super nice. So uh, this tutorial is about transparency. It's about content because he asked. Look, um, I was watching a video, so I'll just start VLC. I was watching a video, and what happens? This other things is uh, transparent. Why and how does it happen? It happens on i3 and it happens also on uh, open box why because we're using content so you should know that content is making care of, of taking care of this effect as well as the shadows which you really can't see really right now but here in the white you can see the shadow so if I disable let's disable the content if, you, if you're watching a movie or anything it can be annoying but for the rest it's, it's quite nice to have this this effect so you know I'm, I'm focusing, focusing here and this one is not selected and now this one is selected. So that's the advantage but don't want it at the moment. Sometimes I do not want it either. When I take a screenshot for instance for the website I say compositor which is Compton which is the official name. Compton is a compositor. You can restart it, enable it and disabling it. We'll take a look at this one up here then this happens. So now you have everything uh, the same color and you have to click on it and then if they're next to each other you don't know which one is focused so well you do because of these little buttons down up here and that's why. Yeah. So if you don't want Compton but then you don't have shadow. That's a bit... Mm, it was nice with a shadow. What happens as well since you don't have any more transparency your conky is black as well so if that's not a problem that's fine and you can keep this one that's option one you can also be do it the hard way hard way at the terminal as well as you can see is no longer transparent so let's make everything transparent again so you see what happens Blop. preferences compositor enable compositing and that's how it normally looks everything's transparent even the bar up here is a bit transparent as you can see right through it but killing can also be done like this if you don't need to go to the menu and say just kill everything that's named Compton and there you go gone again um, last thing is where is this Compton actually at config we are in open box in open box it's here and there are two Comptons. In i3 there's another one. So you can try out in i3 what happens or try out in open box to see what happens. So there are two of them. So we don't have to... Well, we can experiment and they're really separate. So that's good. That's good. So if we're in open box we should stay here. Comp and conf. And for the guys who are, get some uh, screen sharing, screen tearing, that is the name I think, screen tearing we can change these things here back and x render or back and glx try it out here it is no issue uh, either way um, so it's up to the heart up to you to, to find out what's best on your hardware it's so many possibilities out there so we were talking about transparency and all that uh, so this is the shadow you don't want shadow true false 
and this is opacity if you don't want menu opacity put it to one you don't want inactive opacity put it to one uh, frame opacity to one and that's uh, probably it there's an op opacity rules xterm but who uses xterm we have termite as our standard uh, system so but everything is in here just re read it a little bit i wrote a lot of information behind it you'll find more information online and this is where you set uh, eventually if you want to have parts of it in transparent or not or never transparent anymore but Compton is going to be launched it's going to be red um, so you need to set it all right that concludes our tutorial um, this was about Compton really about how to make things transparent or not transparent so this is not the look so I'm gonna back going back to my original compositor enable compositing and there you go again you have this effect on the system all right enjoy <laughs>